Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope you all are keeping well. We all are doing good. This video was shot on a weekend just to share with you all how my routine goes on a normal day and that too on a weekday. Weekends are special as we all are in a relaxed mood and we sit together for food. But a weekday is in that way and each day in a week is slightly different especially when preparing food. It's very hard to shoot a weekday morning as it's the most busiest time of the day for me. Rehan leaves at 6.30 in the morning so I need to wake up at least at 5 am to avoid a bit of rush from preparing food in the fast forward manner. Kids don't like to eat breakfast from home before leaving. They have either a banana or some nuts or just a glass of milk. But my husband eats breakfast before leaving the office, so I anyway prepare the same for their tiffins. As soon as I wake up, I have a glass of warm water and one banana and that keeps me going till I'm free to have my breakfast. These days, after them leaving to school and office, me and my neighbor Pfizer. We go for a walk. It was in the evenings earlier but now here the climate is much favourable. Summer is gone and it's almost winter. Mornings are really beautiful and bright. After coming back, I freshen up a bit and have my breakfast as I'll be super hungry by that time. And I need to eat soon as right after an hour, I have my workout. Workout is one hour and after getting fresh, I quickly get into the kitchen for preparing lunch. This is the rice that we eat for lunch or dinner. Lunch on weekdays are normally rice, any which curry and some side dishes. Kids have been insisting me to prepare noodles. For today, we'll make that for dinner. So for lunch, I'm taking just one cup rice which will be enough. I keep few ingredients ready so that it's easy to know what's next. For the wedge curry, I'm using tur dal, two handful. Wash and add filtered water, around two cups. Then into that goes salt, half teaspoon turmeric powder and one teaspoon coriander powder. Cook for one whistle on medium flame. This is snake guard that I'll be using for the curry. Along with that, we'll need one large tomato and three or four green chilies. That will be kept aside till the dal is ready to be opened. Next will be a fish curry. Not curry as such, it's like a semi gravy in which the fish will be cooked. This recipe is from my mother-in-law. She used to prepare this when we used to stay with them as she knows I love fish. And I love this dish. This is not the red color one. It's a dark yellowish or brownish color I would say. And this is much easier to prepare. You have to add all the ingredients together and wait till the fish is cooked. That's all. For this you will need around 4 or 5 shallots, 3 or 4 cloves of garlic, a small piece of ginger and 3 or 4 green chilies as per your preference. Crush everything if you have a mortar and pestle or else you can even chop all the ingredients into very tiny pieces. Add that to a cooking pot and clay pots are the best for this. Then goes few curry leaves, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, 2 pinches of fenugreek seeds, 2 pinches of fennel seeds, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1.5 teaspoon coriander powder, salt, 3 or 4 tablespoons of coconut oil. Now squeeze everything really well. 
Add little water, just enough to cook the fish. Around one to one and a half cups of water. Adding few garcinia. You may even add tamarind pulp. Add the fish. Here I have taken small sardines, which is really tasty. Keep that on medium flame. Once it starts to boil, reduce to low flame and cook slowly. It'll take around five to ten minutes. Next is preparing the marinade for fish fry. The other one was for me alone because all prefer fried fish. Into a blender go some curry leaves, ginger, garlic, shallots, Kashmiri red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, fennel seeds, salt. Then add crushed black pepper, vinegar or lemon juice and a little warm water. Blend to a smooth paste and keep aside. After the pressure is released, add the vegetables to the dal. Now cook for another whistle on medium flame. The fish is ready. On some days, all the burners will be on and that's mainly when I get late. When I start preparing lunch soon after working out and getting fresh, I can do the work with calm. Now for the fish marination, add the marinade to a bowl. I added some warm water to the blender and mix the leftover marinade. Add that to the bowl. To this mix in some coconut oil. The marinade shouldn't be too runny. It should be semi thick. Now mix in the fish pieces that were given slits. I make this in a big batch and use it within 4 days. The fish fry tastes even better the next days. To the curry, I need to blend 1 cup coconut with 2 shallots, a garlic clove and half teaspoon fennel seeds. Add warm water and blend till it's creamy. Add that to the cooker and let this boil for few seconds. Another side dish I make almost every time is a beetroot chutney which is perfect with rice. I make this in large quantity, preferably for having for 5 or 6 days, not more than that. And one beetroot will be more than enough if it's big in size. The smaller you chop the beetroots, the faster they cook. Heat some coconut oil in a kadai and add the beetroot pieces along with 6 or 7 shallots, 4 or 5 green chilies and curry leaves. I added few dried red chilies as well. This dish needs to be a bit spicy for better taste as it needs to get balanced with the sweetness of the beetroot. Adding a medium piece tamarind for sourness. For tempering the curry, Flutter mustard seeds in hot coconut oil, fry curry leaves and dried red chilies. Then add half teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. Turn off the flame immediately. Add this to the curry and close the cooker to lock the flavour. Once the beetroot is cooked enough, add 1 cup freshly grated coconut. Add salt and mix thoroughly. Let the coconut cook for a minute or two. This is done. Now blend this to a chutney texture. I do it while it's still warm so that the coconut makes it a bit creamy. Fry the fish in coconut oil. I had no curry leaves left. If you have, do add it to the hot oil before frying fish. It gives a good flavour. On weekdays, we eat at different times. Kids come around at 2.30 and they have their food later. Waiting till that time is really hard. I eat my lunch at 1 p.m. 
and it's chapati most of the days. I had these leftover chapatis from previous dinner, so it could save time. And that's lunch for my husband who came at 2. Later kids came and I need to continuously be behind them to get ready for food. They take so much time. While they were having their food, I soaked white rice, urad dal and ragi seeds for idli dosa batter. You can make this recipe without rice as well. I have done this once and shall share the link below in the description box. Soak this in filtered water to use the same water for grinding. I unknowingly slept for a while and this doesn't happen always. When I'm super tired, I get this nap which I don't feel fresh at all. When to prepare the idli dosa batter as it needs enough time for fermentation. So you need to make the batter at least 8 hours before. I made the batter in 2 batches and to each batch I added some cooked rice around 2 or 3 tablespoons at a time. Keep this in a warm place. This noodles from Kellogg's was given by our neighbor who are also the distributors of Kellogg's Noodles in Oman. Their company name is Al Ofok and they are here for around 15 years in the market and they have currently taken Kellogg's for distribution. This is nothing sponsored. They are our neighbors and very close friends just like family. Just introducing them to whoever in Muscat. They gave this noodles to try and it is really good. This will be available in the market within a week. Right now I'm making cheese flavor. I have the spicy one too, we'll make that some other day. I wanted to prepare this dish with more ingredients but as I slept for a while it was late and kids were waiting for noodles. So quickly prepared it in the simplest way. I emptied the sashes in a pan. Then in another pot, cook the noodles in hot boiling water for 3 minutes. I forgot to turn off the camera. Into this I had added 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil and quarter cup water. Once the noodles is cooked, drain and add this to the masala. Mix well till it's well combined. As this was too simple, I added one fried egg for each to have long. I had a taste of noodles from the pan itself, but I will have rice and fish curry for dinner, which is my favorite. And that's all for today's video. Hope you liked it. As I said, each day is different, especially weekdays. On some days, there will be leftovers, so I have enough time. 
on other days i will have to cook from start to end and it's a marathon day for me in the kitchen very rare are days i cook lunch and dinner separate like today i cook in one go and that's how i like to finish my kitchen works see you with another video until then take care bye bye